I received a uh, request in the comments section under one of my videos. Somebody wanted information about a substance called Moringa oleifera, or they actually said Moringa. Moringa is uh, classified as a superfood. Why is it a superfood? Because it's rich in various nutrients. Uh, there's been various health properties ascribed to Moringa. Uh, I'm going to get into that, uh, but let's talk a little about what it is. Moringa oleifera is a tree that's native to India. And it's been used in traditional herbal, herbal remedies for thousands of years. It has goes by different names. Drumstick tree, because the seeds of the Moringa tree look like a drumstick, so they sometimes call it the drumstick tree. Horseradish tree, because uh, I guess the seeds or something taste like horseradish. Or Ben oil tree. Now, almost all parts of the tree, including the bark, pods, and leaves, are eaten or used as ingredients. In most supplements of Moringa, uh, usually if you get a Moringa extract, it's usually the leaf, the leaf portion. Now, here's some of the, uh, the as far as the uh, nutrient content, it's pretty impressive. Um, 100 grams, which is about 3 ounces, if I remember correctly, of dry Moringa leaf contains 10 times the vitamin A of carrots, 12 times the vitamin C of oranges, 17 times the calcium of milk, 25 times the potassium of bananas, 25 times the iron of spinach, and 9 times more protein than yogurt. So uh, this is why uh, you can see now why it's considered a, uh, 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 considered a uh, superfood. Uh, however, uh, other analysis shows that uh, 21 grams, uh, which is a little bit less, has uh, only 2 grams of protein, 19% of the uh, RDA or recommended dental requirement of B6, 12% of vitamin C. I won't go into all that stuff, but it's pretty well, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty, ex it's pretty exceptional in certain vitamins, especially vitamin C. Uh, a cup of uh, fresh uh, moringa contains 157% of your dietary requirements. Uh, it also, unfortunately, contains uh, anti-nutrients. Uh, anti-nutrients are substances found in many plant foods. They interfere with the uptake of various nutrients, especially minerals. Uh, examples of uh, anti-nutrients are oxalate and phytate. And uh, these also, unfortunately, are in Moringa. So uh, it, it, depending on uh, Moringa to get a lot of these nutrients as a sole source would not be uh, advisable because of the uh, presence of... Uh, I should also point out that when you cook vegetables that contain the anti-nutrients, the anti-nutrients are destroyed. So, you know, you don't have to worry about it if you cook, but if you eat them raw, the anti-nutrients are there. Now, uh, a lot of the uh, medical benefits ascribed to Moringa oleifera have to do with its anti antioxidant content. Antioxidants battle or neutralize substances called free radicals, which are unpaired electrons. Uh, that are produced in the uh, processing of oxygen, the mitochondria. Uh, unfortunately, free radicals uh, tend, tend to uh, attack various body tissues, particular cell membranes, which are rich in fat. Uh, in year, in year, for, for a long time, free radicals were thought to be the major cause of aging. Now, it, it's, it is still associated with aging. They are, I should say, associated with aging, but they are not, no longer considered the primary causes of aging, but they do play a part. Uh, there's a lot of other antioxidant plant compounds uh, that are found in Moringa, flavonoids, phenolics, carotenoids, ascorbic acid, uh, and so, so on and so forth. Uh, let's look at some of the uh, specific compounds that are found in Ole uh, uh, I'm sorry, Moringa. Now, uh, if you look at the leaves, uh, as I say, most of the commercial extracts of Moringa are in extract form. I'm sorry, leaf, uh, leaf extract form. <coughs> Now, one of the uh, constitutes in the leaves is called rutin. I've done previous videos on rutin. It's a kind of a, a flavonoid, uh, and it's uh, it, it has uh, it actually one interesting thing about uh, rutin is it interacts with the BRAC gene, B R A C T a gene, that's involved in breast cancer. Uh, Angelo Jolie uh, had uh, underwent a mastec total mastectomy because her mother passed away from breast cancer. And she was found to have inherited two copies of the BRAC gene, which made her believe that she was doomed to get breast cancer. So to avoid it, she had her breast removed. But unfortunately, if she had done a little research, she could have found there are certain nutritional substances, 
including rutin and, and even soy, that neutralize the effects of BRAC, the BRAC genes on promoting breast cancer. So even if you have the, even if you've inherited the genes for uh, breast cancer, you don't necessarily get it if you take a nutritional intervention route. The leaves also contain something called camphorol, which is a flavonoid, <coughs> which has potent antioxidant activity. Uh, leaves also contain quercetin, very interesting flavonoid compound that uh, can act as an anti-diabetic agent. Uh, the combination of quercetin and fisetin, which is another flavonoid, has been shown to be the most potent natural uh, uh, senolytics. In other words, they get, rid of, they get rid of senescent cells. These are cells that have stopped replicating and are closely associated with the aging process. Uh, so uh, in animals, when they uh, clear out a lot of the senescent cells, the animals have a tremendous rejuvenation effect. Uh, so that's, of course, it is also very good for allergies. If you have allergies, quercetin is very, very potent at preventing common allergies. Uh, uh, another one's called, uh, in the leaves, is another compound called mericetin, another flavonoid involved in the prevention of diabetes. Allergic acid, which is found a lot in pomegranates. Uh, it's a polyphenol compound. It's known to prevent viral and bacterial infections, and it's, it's, it's a potent antioxidant. Allergic acid in, uh, can be converted by intestinal bacteria into another substance called urolithin A, which uh, I, I believe I might have done a video about that. Uh, urolithin A, uh, the main uh, benefit of urolithin A is that it stimulates what they call mitophagy, or the uh, ability of uh, the body to get rid of uh, old mitochondria, uh, and also to uh, stimulate the health of existing mitochondria, which is very important, extremely important for health. So uh, the seeds also contain mericetin. Uh, the seeds of moringa also contain beta cytosterol, which is an anti-inflammatory. Uh, beta cytosterol um, if, uh, is a um, also lowers. Uh, it, it, it competes with cholesterol for uptake in the body. And so beta cytosterol, if you take it orally, it, 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 it could cause your body to eliminate any excess cholesterol you might have uh, taken in food. The seeds of Moringa contain oleic acid, which reduces blood pressure, reduces free radical damage. Oleic acid is the major mono, sorry, monounsaturated fatty acid found in extra virgin olive oil. Uh, a study a couple of years ago, it was an animal study, showed that a substantial intake of oleic acid actually goes a long way towards preventing the aging of muscles, which would be, was a, that's tremendously significant for any person involved in uh, resistance training over the age of 40. Now, Moringa has, has shown antimicrobial and antifungal activity. Uh, uh, this is some of the benefits. It has anti-inflammatory effect. Um, it, um, let's see, what else can I say? It, it inhibits uh, what they call inflammatory cytokines, which cause systemic inflammation, which is also associated with a loss of muscle with age. Uh, uh, Moringa can lower elevated blood gl glucose levels, which is, um, that's usually uh, occurs with insulin resistance, and it's considered a precursor to type two diabetes. Uh, it's very dangerous. A 2020 review of seven human studies and 23 animal studies found that Moringa helped lower blood glucose levels. Uh, so that's pretty impressive. Uh, pretty good if you're, if you're experiencing uh, insulin resistance or if you notice that your uh, blood glucose is high at rest, Moringa could probably help something like that. Uh, the effects of uh, Moringa in lowering blood glucose, blood glucose, elevated blood glucose, could be traced to the compounds, uh, natural compounds in Moringa, including quercetin, camphorol, glucomorogen, chlorogenic acid, and isothionate. So uh, again, uh, unfortunately, most of these studies come from animals, but these substances also are known to work in humans. As I said, Moringa can reduce inflammation. Uh, the compounds in Moringa that reduce, uh, have anti-inflammatory effects include phenols, alkaloids, flavonoids, carotenoids, manilin, and moringin. Um, a 2019 study found that Moringa leaves had the highest amount of anti-inflammatory and antioxidant compounds compared to the seeds or pods. That's why they usually use, when you uh, see Moringa supplements, again, most of them are derived from Moringa leaf. Moringa can help prevent heart disease by lowering cholesterol. As I said, beta-cytosterol, one of the compounds in Moringa, 
has been known to interfere with the absorption of cholesterol, causes it to be excreted from the body. Uh, it, uh, studies have found that Moringa can increase high-density lipoprotein, so-called good cholesterol, and lower the so-called bad cholesterol, which is low-density lipoprotein. Uh, interesting effect of Moringa oleifera is that it can, it can protect against arsenic uh, toxicity. Arsenic, of course, is a very famous poison, <laughs> long, uh, has a long history of use. Uh, I'm not going to explain. I did an article in my uh, Applied Metabolics talking about arsenic content of food and what you could do about it. I'm not going to go into detail here, but a lot of the foods that bodybuilders like to eat, like chicken and rice, could be surprisingly rich in arsenic. And uh, long-term exposure to high levels of arsenic can, 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 uh, are associated with increased risk for cancer, cardiovascular disease, and skin problems. Uh, uh, studies of animal studies in fish and mice have shown that Moringa leaves can help protect against ar arsenic toxicity. Uh, again, there's many other compounds that can do it. Uh, to, if you want to know what they are, Subscribe to Applied Metabolics, look up uh, article, just do a search for arsenic, and you'll see the article. It's an extensive look at arsenic, what it does in the body, and how to uh, avoid the effects of arsenic. Uh, 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 Moringa has been very safe. Uh, it shows very few side effects. Um, some uh, uh, websites and people who sell this stuff claim that it can reduce visceral or deep-lying abdominal fat. Uh, but there's no human studies to show that it affects that kind of fat. Uh, so um, what else can I say about it? Um, let me see. Uh, I, I talked about oxidative stress, antioxidant, anti-cancer. Uh, it seems to have a, uh, it, it has fertility pr uh, boosting properties. Again, these are, uh, unfortunately, can also cause abortions in large amounts, which I don't recommend. It seems to have liver protecting effects. Uh, again, it's very good for your cardiovascular health. Uh, what else? It's, uh, it seems to help uh, with the brain or brain function. Uh, it has an anti-convulsant effect, uh, and it also it, it, it seems to. Uh, uh, my studies show that it improves. It has a sedative effect by helping to improve sleep duration. Might be good for helping you sleep. Uh, it kind of calms down the brain is what it does. Um, it also seems to increase synaptic activity or, or the communication between neurons in the brain, which would increase cognition or thinking ability. It lowers the toxicity of beta amyloid, one of the two proteins that are associated with Alzheimer's disease. It also lowers the hyperphosphorylation of tau. Tau is the other protein associated with Alzheimer's disease. Uh, a moringa increases dopam dop dopamine activity, which increases your uh, your uh, focus and concentration uh, and feelings of well-being. Uh, and it also increases cholinergic activity, acetylcholine, which is uh, the neurotransmitter involved in memory and intelligence. Uh, a moringa also has been shown to, in animals at least, it seems to have a pretty good wound healing effect. Um, as I said, um, there was uh, some studies, again, in animals, uh, in, uh, in rats, they sh did show that Moringa had anti-obesity activity. What they gave the uh, rats uh, Moringa, an extra leaf extract, for 49 days, and it was found to significantly reduce body, ma body mass index, which is an indirect uh, measure of uh, obesity. Uh, the, they thought that it worked by the downregulation of messenger RNA expression of the hormones resistant in leptin with an increase in the regulation of, of the gene adiponectin in rats. Adiponectin is a, is a, um, a substance release in fat cells that improves insulin resistance and helps your body utilize fat. So, um, so that, that's, uh, that's what it does there. What else can I say here? Uh, again, it has anti-allergic activity probably because of the uh, quercetin, anti-diabetic, uh, has a slight diuretic effect. Uh, it also helps lower blood pressure by, uh, by, by uh, inhibiting uh, the angiotensin converting enzyme, which is involved in, um, in uh, raising blood pressure. Uh, so let me see, I think, about, I think that's about really all I could say about this Marengo stuff. It's pretty good. Uh, it's not a miracle food. Uh, I mean, um, some people try and pass it off uh, as a cure-all. 
As you can see, it's involved in a number of bodily systems and definitely is good for your health. Uh, if you take it in, uh, let's say, normal amounts, it has very low tox toxicity, which is a definite feature because a surprising number of herbs, even commonly used herbs, they could easily become toxic if you take too much of them. Moringa is, uh, is not in that category. Moringa is, uh, is uh, virtually non-toxic in normal amounts. So I'll leave it at that. Uh, if you want more information on nutrition, exercise science, anti-aging research, effective fat loss techniques, supplement science, including which supplements work, which ones don't, women's health and fitness, hormone therapy, all of these topics are covered in detail. And my Applied Metabolics publication, it's at www.appliedmetabolics.com. Now I have to say these videos are kind of short, uh, let's say, uh, previews of information. They don't, I can't, but, but I, I can't go into depth because of time limitations. Uh, if you really want all the detail, if you want the, the kind of like the whole kitchen sink, so to speak, about any particular nutrition or exercise related topic, I strongly suggest, urge you or su suggest that you subscribe to my Applied Metabolics. Uh, uh, it's a tremendous asset to personal trainers, coaches, athletes, anybody who wants to know the truth about nutrition in a non-commercialized manner. There's no commercials, there's no ads in Applied Metabolics, and it includes my over six decades of study and experience, which I don't believe can be matched by anybody. Uh, as far as I know, unless somebody's 100 years old, uh, and if they are, I want to know what their secrets are. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so, so so subscribe today. Uh, uh, when you subscribe, send me an email. I'll send you an invitation to join my private Applied Metabolics Facebook page where each day I post new information on nutrition, exercise, and general health and medicine. I have an email portal on my Applied Metabolics webpage where current subscribers only could send me short questions about anything they read in Applied Metabolics or anything that they're curious about related to nutrition and exercise, and I'll try to, I will answer their question in appreciation of their subscription. Um, I don't, I don't uh, answer unsolicited questions, especially people who aren't subscribers, because Applied Metabolics, quite frankly, is, is extremely inexpensive. It costs le less than a cup of latte at, at one of these fancy coffee places. And you'll get far more benefit. Uh, a copy of the Los Angeles Times newspaper, single daily edition, costs three dollars and sixty-six cents. Compare that with the thirty-three cents a day that Applied Metabolics co uh, costs. It's it's very inexpensive. I've had this publication going on eleven years. I have not raised the rate, uh, the subscription price, because I'm trying to reach as many people as I can, because I think the information contained in Applied Metabolics is of extreme value. It can not only help your exercise training and dieting efforts, but it can also literally save your life. There's a lot of information that it's, that's uh, imparted in Applied Metabolics that you won't hear from your doctor and you won't find unless you're willing to search through the hundreds of medical journals that I do every month. And all of this is in apply, uh, Applied Metabolics. So please subscribe today at AppliedMetabolics.com. Uh, what else can I say? If you want to have the best friend you'll ever have, go to your local shelter and adopt a dog. They are the best. I'm, I have, I still don't have a dog. Uh, there's, um, there's a couple of reasons why I won't get into it in this video, but I, uh, I'll be looking for. Uh, I'm going to go to. The, I'm going to do exactly what I always recommend in my videos. I'm going to go to a local shelter and uh, adopt a dog. You know, I, I, I uh, you know, it's funny. The dogs will choose you. Uh, you're walking through a shelter, very often you kind of make eye contact and this kind of an invisible communication that can occur between you and a particular dog and you know that that, do that dog is the one for you. So I'm looking forward to doing that uh, and uh, that's about it. Take care. Thank you for listening.